Assalamu alaikum students. This is Dr. Samina Qasim, your Human Resource Management course facilitator. Today, the topic that I'm going to discuss is interviewing candidates. Learning objectives include to understand interview and its types, illustrate factors that affect the usefulness of interviews, explain and illustrate the guidelines for being an effective interviewer, effectively interview a job candidate. Now, what is interview? Interview is a formal way of collecting information in which one or more individual question, review, or consult an interviewee. An interview is more than a discussion. It is a procedure designed to obtain information from a person through oral responses to oral inquiries. Employers use several interviews at work, such as selective interviews, performance appraisal interviews, and exit interviews. You see these three basic types of interviews, selection interview, appraisal, and exit interviews. Now, what, what, is, what are these different types of interview? First is selection interview. Selection interview is a procedure designed to predict future job performance based on applicants' oral responses to oral inquiries. Whereas, an appraisal interview is a discussion following a performance appraisal in which supervisor and employee discuss the employee's rating and possible remedial actions. Now, when an employee leaves a firm, one often conducts an interview. This is called an exit interview. This aim at eliciting information that might provide some insight into what's wrong or right about the firm. We can classify selection interviews according to how they are structured, their content, their types of questions they contain, and how the firm administer the interview. How they are structured? In an unstructured or non-directive interviews, the manager follows no set format. A few questions might be specified in advance. Most selection interviews falls in this category. However, the structured interviews, which we call directive interviews, are the ones in which the employer lists job-oriented questions ahead of time and possible predetermined answer for appropriateness and scoring. Job content. Now we can also classify interviews based on the content or types of questions asked in the interview. At work, situational, behavioral and job related questions are most important. Now we'll start off with situational interviews. A series of job related questions that focus on how the candidate would behave in a given situation. For example, you might ask a supervisory candidate how he or she would act in response to a subordinate coming to work late three days in a row. This is an example of situational interview. Now, behavioral interview. You see that whereas situational interviews ask applicant to describe how they would react to a hypothetical situation today or tomorrow, behavioral interviews ask applicants to describe how they react to actual situation in the past. Now, job-related interviews, there are a series of job-related questions that focus on relevant past job-related behaviors. The questions here don't revolve around hypothetical or actual situation or scenario. Instead, the interviewer asks job related questions such as, which courses did you like best in business school? The aim, is the aim over here to draw conclusion about, for example, the candidate's ability to handle the financial aspect of the job the employer seeks to fill. The last 
hostile stress interview. An interview in which the applicant is made uncomfortable by a series of often rude questions. Now, this technique helps identify hypersensitive applicant and those with low or high stress tolerance. Thus, a candidate for a customer relation manager position who mentions having had four jobs in the past two years might be told that frequent job changes reflect irresponsible and immature behavior. If the applicant then responds with a reasonable explanation of why the job changes were necessary, the interviewer might pursue another topic. On the other hand, if the applicant reacts explosively with anger and disbelief, the interviewer might deduce that the person has a low tolerance for stress. Now, administering the interview. This is really interesting topic. Employers also administer interviews in various ways. One-on-one -on -one or by a panel of interviewers sequentially or all at once, computerized or personally. Most selection interviews are one-on-one -on -one and sequential. Now in a one-on-one -on -one interview, two people meet alone and one interviews the other by seeking oral responses to oral inquiries. Employers tend to schedule these interviews sequentially. In a sequential, interview several person interview the applicants in sequence one-on-one -on -one, and then make their hiring decision in an unstructured sequential interviews this one each interview generally just ask question as they come to mind in a in an unstructured sequential interview each interviewer rates the candidate on a standard evaluation form using standardized questions. The hiring manager then reviews and compares the evaluation before deciding whom to hire. Now, a panel interview. A panel interview is also known as a board interview. It's an interview conducted by a team of interviewers, usually two to three, who together interview each candidate and then combine their rating into a final panel score. This contrasts with the one-on-one -on -one interview in which one interviewer meets one candidate and a serial interview where several interviewers assess a single candidate one-on-one -on -one sequentially. The panel format enables interviews interviewer to ask follow-up questions, much as reporter do in a press conference. This may elicit more meaningful responses than are normally produced by a series of one-on-one -on -one interviews. On the other hand, some candidates find panel interviews more stressful. So they may actually, you can say that they may actually inhibit responses mass interviews here a panel interviews several candidates simultaneously phone interviews employer do some interviews entirely by phone these can actually be more accurate than face-to-face -face interviews for judging an applicant's consciousness intelligence and interpersonal skills here neither party need worry about things like appearance or handshake so each can focus on substantive in answers. Video web-based interviews. Firms have long used the web to do selection interviews, particularly the initial pre-screening interview. With iPad type video functionalities and widespread Skype use of Skype, their use is growing. Computerized interviews. A computerized selection interview is one in which a job candidate's oral or computerized replies are obtained in response to computerized oral, visual, or written questions or situations. Most computerized interviews 
present the applicant with a series of question regarding his or her background, experience, education, skills, knowledge, and work attitudes that relate to the job for which the person has applied. Typical computerized interview present questions in a multiple choice format, one at a time. The applicant has to respond to the questions on screen by pressing a key. Questions can, uh, you can see questions on computerized interview, they come in a rapid sequence and require the applicant to concentrate. The typical computerized interview program measure the response time to each question. 